As of 2020, Germany was home to over 11 million refugees and other migrants, making it one of the most significant immigration hubs in Europe. Nonetheless, recent polls and political shifts indicate that the German people are growing more and more displeased with the nation's immigration laws and their effects. The perceived detrimental effects of immigration on the German labour market, culture and society are among the primary causes of this discontent. In September 2023, the Bertelsmann Foundation conducted a survey in which 54% of Germans said that immigration usually causes drawbacks for their country, while 33% said that immigration brings benefits. Furthermore, 78% of Germans believe that there is a lack of success in integrating refugees and other migrants into society and the labour market, and 80% concur that authorities are not deporting individuals who have been denied asylum. These opinions are a reflection of worries that immigrants are destroying social cohesiveness, decreasing wages, stealing jobs and endangering German identity and values. Certain fears are grounded in empirical data, as demonstrated by the elevated rate of unemployment among immigrants 16.5% in 2020 and the low educational attainment of numerous refugees just 14% possessing a high school diploma or above. Stereotypes, prejudices and misleading information, such as the idea that immigrants receive greater welfare benefits than native Germans, also have an impact on some of these worries. The rising appeal of anti-immigrant political organizations and movements, including the far-right alternative for Germany, AFD, and the recently established Sarah Wagenknecht Alliance, BSW, is another factor contributing to the changing public sentiment against immigration. As the largest opposition party in the Bundestag since 2017, the AFD is against the EU's intentions to change its refugee laws and supports a drastic decrease in the number of immigrants entering Germany. Launched in October 2023 by a former Die Linke member, the BSW blends right-wing rhetoric on immigration with left-wing economic goals, saying, for example, that there shouldn't be any neighbourhoods where the original population is underrepresented. The German public has shown a strong affinity for both parties. In the federal election of 2021, the AFD received 10.3% of the vote, while in November 2023, the BSW received 14% of the vote. These political groups have profited from the anxieties and dissatisfactions of numerous Germans who believe that immigration and the EU are stealing their identity and sovereignty. Additionally, they have taken advantage of the alliance that rules the country, the Christian Democratic Union, CDU, and the Social Democratic Party, SPD, which is regarded to be weak and too indulgent when it comes to immigration matters. The German government has made the decision to change its immigration laws and take a more restrictive stance in response to the shifting public sentiment and pressure from the opposition. The Parliament passed a new immigration bill in June 2023 that tightens restrictions and adds additional requirements for qualified people from non-EU nations who wish to immigrate, while simultaneously creating new immigration channels for them. The new law intends to reduce the influx of low-skilled and illegal migrants while simultaneously attracting skilled foreign workers and addressing the labour deficit in the nation. It is anticipated to go into effect in three stages, in November 2023, March 2024 and June 2024. While some academics and business groups have hailed the new law as a practical and modern response to the opportunities and problems presented by immigration, human rights organisations and civil society organisations have denounced it as a breach of the rights and dignity of refugees and migrants. The cooperation of the EU and the nations where migrants originate and transit, the availability and calibre of integrating services and public acceptance and support of the new policy are among the legal and practical challenges that the new law must overcome. The new immigration law might not be sufficient, though, to allay popular unrest and deal with the problems brought on by immigration. Critics claim that the law is overly intricate and bureaucratic and that it falls short in addressing the security, social cohesion and integration challenges. 
Others caution that in the long run, the law might not be able to keep up with the need for skilled labour, and that in order for Germany to stay competitive in the global economy, it needs to make greater investments in innovation, education and training. Further, some experts speculate that the law might have unforeseen repercussions that include splitting immigration into two categories, raising the possibility of discrimination and exploitation, and weakening Germany's and the EU's moral and humanitarian duties to refugees and other migrants. The German Institute for Economic Research, DIW, for example, noted in a paper that the new rule may lessen the incentives for companies to provide training and career development possibilities to immigrants, as well as increase the salary gap between native and foreign workers. The European Council for Refugees and Exiles, ECRE, report also cautioned that the new rule might go against the principle of non-refoulement, which forbids sending refugees back to nations where they risk persecution or grave damage. These possible negative effects of the new law could counteract immigration's social and economic gains and increase public animosity and anger in Germany. In conclusion, anti-immigrant political parties and movements are becoming more and more popular, and the government's immigration policy and its results are not pleasing, which is why Germany is becoming less and less supportive of immigration due to the belief that immigration has a negative impact on the nation's labour market, culture and society. The new immigration law, which was enacted in June 2023, is an attempt to strike a compromise between Germany's public concerns and economic requirements, but it might not be able to address all of the many and varied issues surrounding immigration in the nation. Consequently, Germany must figure out how to control immigration in a way that is equitable, efficient and long-lasting, while also encouraging a more welcoming and inclusive mindset toward refugees and other immigrants in the community. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time.